Hey guys, so now we're going to start talking about fluids, which is also sometimes referred to as fluid mechanics, fluid dynamics, or just liquids. Now the first topic you need to know really well is density, so let's jump right into it. Alright, so liquids and gases are types of fluids. Types of fluids. So a liquid is a fluid and a gas is a fluid. So we're going to use the term fluids. Um, to refer generally to both liquids and gases. And the reason we do this is because liquids and gases behave very similarly in a lot of different situations. So instead of saying liquids and gases, liquids and gases all the time, we're just going to say fluids, which refers to both, both things. Cool? So density is the first big concept you have to understand, and you may remember density from chemistry class. The density of a material has to do with how tightly packed the molecules are. So for example here, you got the same sort of volume this sort of blue um, cup and it's got these little green balls. Here, they're not very packed together, so we're going to say that this is low density, and here they're very tight together, so this is going to be high density, okay? So the more compressed things are, the higher the density you have. Density in physics is given by the letter, by the Greek letter rho, rho, which is a little p, a curvy p, and if you remember, it's simply mass divided by volume mass divided by volume. So mass in physics is always kilograms and volume is a three-dimensional length so it's going to be cubic meter. So it's kilograms per cubic meter. Remember if you have the three dimensions of an object like a, a rectangle or something then the volume of a rectangle would be the width of the rectangle times the height times the depth. Right? And sometimes you see length instead of one of these three measurements. And because each one of these guys is a meter, you got meter, 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 you have cubic meter. Cool. Now, sometimes you are given the density and you're given these dimensions, right? So you're given density rho and you're given the three dimensions. Whenever you're given the three dimensions, you're able to find volume. And if you have rho and volume, if you have rho and volume, then you're going to be able to find the mass. And that's because of the equation. Rho equals mass divided by volume. Therefore, if I move the V up here, I hope you see that right away, you get M equals rho volume. So let's put this, this over here. Mass equals rho volume. All right, and they try to trick you with this, but it's very straightforward. Um, it's just a play on this original definition here of density. Sometimes you see something that says that objects have the same material. Um, in density problems, this usually means that they have the same density. Okay. So if you have a, if you have two pieces of wood, and we say it's the same kind of wood, you can also infer that they have the same. Uh, you can conclude that they have the same density. Cool. And then the last quick point I want to make, and then we'll do an example, is if you have liquids in a container, two liquids or more liquids, two or more liquids in a container the liquid with the higher density will be at the, what do you think, top or bottom? Higher density liquid will be at the bottom, okay? The higher density liquid will be at the bottom. And you can think of this as higher density being heavier. Now I'm putting this in quotes because it's not necessarily heavier, it's going to be heavier depending on whether you have more or less volume of it, um, but on a per molecule basis it is heavier, or, or per small area, or per small volume, um, it is heavier, therefore it's going to go to the bottom because liquids can sort of move around. So you might have seen something like this where they put all kinds of different things and you can see them uh, becoming very different, sort of a heterogeneous mixture here. Um, and honey is all the way at the bottom, which means honey is the, uh, the highest density out of all these things that are here. Cool? So we'll see some stuff like that later. Let's do a quick example here. Um, what is the total weight of, all of air molecules inside a large warehouse? And I give you the dimensions here. So I want the total weight of air, right? So air does have a weight. And so first let's start with weight. Weight, remember, is just mg, mass times gravity. And I know gravity. I'm going to use here, just for the sake of keeping this simple, I'm going to say gravity is approximately 10 um, meters per second squared, so I'm going to use 10. So if it's asking me for weight, and I know gravity, all I really need is mass. So this question is really about finding the mass of air in this space. Now I'm given this, right, so you can sort of draw this, it's 100 wide, 
a hundred deep so it looks something like this not to scale okay so this is a hundred meters here hundred meters here and 10 meters high whenever you're given three measurements you can right away find the volume volume is just those three measurements together multiplied 100 times 100 times 10 and here you can just count the zeros or five zeros so this is 10 to the fifth and I got meter times meter times meter so cubic meter right or you can write it out if you want one two three four five so it's a hundred thousand cubic meters okay now I have the volume I have the the density right here so I can find the mass because remember density is mass over volume I have the volume I have the density it was given right here so we can just find the mass which is the equation I showed you just a few moments ago so rho v and then you're going to multiply the two rho is going to be 1.225 kilograms per cubic meter I highly recommend you put the cubic meter down here right like don't put it over here if you put it in the bottom it's going to be easier to play with it times the volume which is 100,000 cubic meter and then notice what happens here right away this cancels with this and you just got this big multiplication the mass therefore is going to be if you put this in the calculator you're going to get one two two five zero zero you're left with kilograms so a little bit of dimension analysis here cool are we done no because we're getting mass so that we can plug it in here and get the weight but that's the last step i'm going to do here weight is mass times gravity and i just have to multiply those two we're getting this gravity is 10 so we just have to add an extra zero here and the unit for weight since it's a force is newtons so this is a million newtons of weight cool so the air in this entire thing is actually pretty heavy if you would put that entire air on top of you it would crush you in a very small amount of time all right cool let's do this example here if you want you can pause the video and give this a shot yourself i'm going to keep rolling here it says the density of whole blood so whole blood means it's all the different parts you have of your blood plasma everything else is nearly this now in physics whenever they say a value is nearly or approximately we're just going to use that value so density is rho of whole blood is 1.06 kilograms per liter i'm going to write it like this notice that it didn't say kilograms per cubic meter instead of said per liter um and these two are not equivalent but they are related and we'll talk about this in a future video so we're just going to leave it like that for now and then it says how many kilograms are in a pint pint of whole blood so asking how many kilograms kilograms is the units for mass if i say how many kilograms i'm asking for the mass so what is the mass and then i'm given the volume here the volume is 473 milliliters now you can't really use milliliters you're supposed to use liters but let's leave it alone for now let's not sort of uh, prematurely convert units here all right so this is very straightforward i have three variables that are related by this equation by the definition of density which is mass over volume i want to know mass i have the other two i just have to move things around so this question is a little bit more straightforward than the other one pv or rho v and this is 1.06 kilograms per liter times the volume which is 473 milliliters can't really do this without changing either liters into milliliters or milliliters into liters hope you remember this is very straightforward one liter is a thousand milliliters so i'm actually just going to scratch this and put 1000 milliliters right here milliliters will cancel and then you're left with kilograms which is what you want so all we got to do here is multiply this big mess and if you do that you get 1.06 times 473 divided by a thousand and this is going to be in kilograms and if you do this in the calculator you get 0.501 kilograms that's how many kilograms or how much the mass of the uh, mass of blood uh, of whole blood if you have one pint of it with this density cool that's it for this one let's go to the next one